Good afternoon, students. It's Wendy Fraser here from Canon in Australia. Today, I'm really excited to be able to introduce you um, to uh, Mr. Karanjit Singh, who is the Regional Manager of Australian Institutes of Business Intelligence here in Australia. So, welcome to Ed Talk. Um, lovely to see you again, Karanjit. So, let's tell our audience who are we abbreviate AIBI. Thank you, Wendy, uh, for this opportunity and platform. It's wonderful to be here. Uh, give a little bit of brief about who we are and what we are trying to achieve. AIBI is basically a new age university level education provider. The idea is to bridge the gap between the classroom and the industry by offering unique and in-demand courses, uh, which are designed in a way that student is able to get the best of all words in terms of balancing their personal study and work lives. Excellent. Now I know the answer, but where in Australia are AIBI campuses situated? Yeah, Wendy, so we are currently in three most popular Australian cities, if I'm allowed to say that, Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane. So we are in the heart of Sydney in CBD and in Melbourne again, we are in the CBD. And last year, in fact, a few months back, we got our third campus approved, which is in Brisbane. So these are the three study locations we have at the moment. Excellent. Now, AIBI offer courses that are in demand um, when it comes to the workforce. Um, Australia needs these skills, but not just Australia, it's actually worldwide this skill is needed. So what are the courses that AIBI offer? Absolutely, Wendy. So uh, like, like you mentioned, we are trying to offer courses which are in demand, not just in Australia. In fact, worldwide uh, work scenario to speak, cyber security is something very, very booming. So we are offering a Bachelor of Cyber Security. We offer a Bachelor of Enterprise Management Systems, which is a standalone qualification in Australia. Currently, we are the only provider to offer. And then we also offer a Bachelor of Business, which is a revamped qualification with a very exciting option of doing a majors in AI. Again, we are the first in Australia and the only one in Australia to do that. So we we are trying to cater to a niche, a niche of business intelligence, which is reflected in our name. And uh, we want to offer those unique and in-demand qualifications only. So I'm talking about current as well as future qualifications here, Wendy. Well, we know that AI has been in the news all week. That's definitely a, that's the way the world is going. That is a skill set that is going to be needed. And I don't think anytime soon, we're going to run out of job opportunities for anyone in cybersecurity or in the AI fields. So when it comes to employability, what job prospects look like in Australia and the world? Um, I know quite often there are numbers that are crunched of, you know, um, where these careers are going to go. Do you have any statistics on that? Yeah, absolutely, uh, Wendy. So if I talk about cybersecurity space, the global projection as the one, re the one report by Cybersecurity Magazine, it's going to be whooping 3.5 million unfulfilled jobs in the field of cybersecurity by the end of this year. And if I talk about the scenario down under, it's going to be 30,000 jobs unfulfilled by the end of next year, which is a great proposition for young graduates who are looking forward to study these courses in Australia. And AI, you rightly mentioned, it's always the top of the town. Now, as per Tech Council Australia, there will be 200,000 jobs unfulfilled only in the field of AI by the end of 2030. So these are the courses which present a lot of opportunities for young graduates and they are in demand and are going to stay in demand for quite some time, you know. So that's something very, very exciting for young students looking to make a career either in the field of cyber security or AI specifically. Do students get any support from AIBI in obtaining um, experience in the sector or job support throughout the course or on graduation or after graduation? Because it's really important, I think, that students know, you know, um, I haven't just studied, but what is it? who can guide me into employment? Absolutely, can't agree with you more on this. At AIBI, student is the centre of our system, Wendy. So right from the application stage till they become our alumna, we handhold them. So whether it did, whether we talk of the academic exposure, the industrial connect, we help them with internship, we even help them getting absorbed in the industry. 
So our approach is pretty much student centric only. Excellent, Karanjit. How many intakes a year do AIBI offer students, and when's the next um, deadline for 2025? So we have three intakes uh, going throughout the year. March, June, and September. So we are already uh, finished a very successful March intake from offshore. So the next available intake for Indian students offshore is June, followed by September. The good news is we are still accepting 2024 passouts for June as well as September intake from India offshore applicants. You have your deadlines as yet for June. Would it be middle of April? Would that be about run up when looking at visas? Okay, so students, if you're looking at coming to Australia and come and study these wonderful courses at AIBI, you need to come and see your Canon consultant because we have to get all your paperwork in before April because we need to allow time for visa processing. And I guess another important thing that students um, always look at because we are in a cost of living crisis worldwide, um, India and Australia, are there any scholarships that are available for students? Yes, Wendy, so we do offer scholarships to offshore international students. There is a scholarship, an auto-applied 10-person scholarship to all eligible students. Having said that, our tuition fees are very affordable. To quote, after scholarship, uh, an applicant has to pay 19500 Australian dollars a year for any of our programs at any of our campuses for any of the intakes in 2025. That's really brilliant, currently. That's a really good rate. Just going to ask you one more little question. Um, we know that these are the careers of the future. We know that there's a massive skill shortage, not just in Australia, but worldwide. Do you have any idea what salaries are for someone entering cybersecurity or AI? Absolutely. Uh, Wendy, these salaries uh, at the moment are very high for an entry-level cybersecurity graduate if we compare it with the salaries they will be making in India. To quote, the average salary for a young cybersecurity graduate will be in six figures, of course, as high as 140,000 Australian dollars a year. So this is the level they are going to start. So you can imagine what will happen after another five years when they gain more experience and insights of the industry. So it's only going to go upwards from here. But what's amazing about that is that's the entry-level salary and you're saying that your fees are 19500 and you're looking at either, you're looking at a three-year course, so your investment around 60000 Australian dollars. You have got back your investment on your course plus more by undertaking a course at AIBI in cybersecurity or in AI. Well, this is fantastic, Aranjit. Um, Thank you. I'm looking forward to sharing this with our students and for our counsellors to be able to counsel the students on the profile that you're looking for to come to either Melbourne, Sydney or Brisbane campuses. Three great cities with great work opportunities um, and in a space where it's only, only going to keep growing and to get in early and have that experience. If, as you said, in five years' time, they're going to be the top of their career and their salary is going to be quite amazing in five years' time. So thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And we look forward, students, to you uh, coming and speaking to one of our Canham staff at our 40 plus Canham offices um, to talk to you about AIBI, the scholarships, and run you through how you can apply. But we need to get this paperwork done because the deadline will be April for the June intake. So thank you once again, Karen G for joining me today and educating our students. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Wendy. It's a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you.